oh, oh, don't pull me in. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Brora, did you have a good sleep? Kikero, 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 Kikero. Yeah. Oh, oh, Welcome to another video. We're actually um, away again in the van, so this is uh, towards the end of August. This is the, uh, I think this is the 28th of August, and the weather's been rubbish, but um, it's to improve, especially next week and over this weekend. So this is um, Wednesday, and uh, we left home yesterday and drove up through Glenshee, um, down through Braemar and we've come um, to Campus of May and we had a park up in the Forestry and Land Scotland park for the night at Campus of May um, Forest Car Park. So we've just left there and we've come down to the Campus of May Suspension Bridge which I've been to before but it's a lovely spot and it's actually right on the Deeside Way um, which is a walking or cycling route. So um, my friend is actually coming up um, for a couple of nights to join me in Bankery, so I'm heading to Bankery uh, later on this morning or this afternoon and I've booked into the Silver Bank campsite there and my friend's going to have a couple of days with me, she's booked into a hotel. So we're actually going to make for um, the um, Muir of Dinnet Nature Reserve, there's a car park there and toilets and a wee visitor centre and so we're going to do a walk around Loch Kinnord, which I've done before. There's just a wee robin, a tiny wee robin, just sat on the, the seat there. I bet if I move to show you with the camera, it'll move. Yeah, it's going to fly away. <laughs> there it goes. Brora sees it. Um, so, yeah, um, it's a really nice uh, nature reserve and it's got a gorge, um, a really unusual gorge um, carved in the Ice Age ca called Burn Ovat. So we'll have a wee look at that and um, yeah, we shall bring you back. So 
It was a wee bit drizzly earlier, but um, the rain's off and it's quite mild, so I'm so pleased about that because the weather's been, if you live in Scotland especially, the central belt, I think the west's been even worse. The summer has just been a complete washout. So, uh, yeah, we're due to get some good weather for um, maybe this is our summer. So we shall bring you back. Just at the edge of Dinnet Village, there's a place where you can walk through some of Deeside's prettiest woodland or picnic beside a loch covered in water lilies. And if you fancy scrambling into a granite cauldron following in the footsteps of Queen Victoria, you can do that too. The lochs are both left over from the last ice age. As the glaciers melted, two huge lumps of ice got stranded here. The lochs formed in the dents they left behind. People have lived at Dinnet for thousands of years, leaving fascinating traces of their lives. One of Scotland's most beautiful Pictish crosses, carved over a thousand years ago, overlooks Loch Kinnord. The deserve's most spectacular feature is the vat. Its vast bowl of pink granite scooped out by a river flowing underneath the glaciers that covered the land about 20,000 years ago. Clambering inside is a real adventure if you can do it without getting your feet wet. So we've left um, Burn of Fat behind and we're doing the Loch Kinord circuit, which is four miles. So um, it should be nice. And there's some interesting things um, around the path, including a Pictish stone. So we'll show you that. But um, there's definitely signs of autumn. The round trees have got really big berries on them. And I noticed the bracken and um, some of the trees are turning. So definitely signs of autumn. But uh, yeah, I've done this walk oh, three or four times before in different directions, but we're doing it anti-clockwise and we start and finish at the Barnovat Visitor Centre. So it's 25 to 11, um, so it shouldn't take us too long. So we'll make our way round and uh, bring you back when there's something interesting. <laughs>
Well, that's us nearly finished the walk. We're almost back at Muir of Dinnet. So I'll probably finish up the video here. I'm going to go back to the van and um, give Brora her breakfast and comb her ears because she's got lots of little, um, her ears are full of little seeds. They're all matted. She's probably got a few ticks on her as well. So uh, I'll finish up the video here. I'm going to go back to the van and give her our breakfast. It's just about 10 past 12. And then I'm going to make my way um, through a Boyne to um, Bankery and then to the campsite. And hopefully I'll meet up with my friend later on this afternoon. And I don't know what we're going to get up to, but um, hopefully I'll get some hills done on this trip, possibly some Monroes. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.